Hey guys, it's Dan from Soiler and welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I'm excited to announce a new product offering I have for you and that is our T10 insert. All right, so what is a T10 insert? The T10 insert is essentially a holster for your Taser 10 that is designed to go inside of most modern chest rigs. All right, uh, the retention system that the, T the T10 insert utilizes is similar to your old fashioned leather holsters where it has a piece of material that goes behind the back strap that then buckles in or snaps in, I should say, to a metal uh, buckle or button, right? So basically like the old school leather pancake holsters with the button, that's all this is, right? That part's not groundbreaking, but it allows you now to insert your Taser 10 into your chest rig with retention, right? You could get in a fight with this without it coming out. And then when you're ready to draw your Taser, it's simple as breaking that snap and drawing the taser, all right? Uh, the original prototype, just so you kind of have a history on this, the original prototype actually was probably close to six years old now, all right? But back then, I didn't have any of the capabilities of a laser cutter. I didn't have uh, Tegris, the like, utilization of that type of material. So I was using kind of some rubber straps and it just wasn't working great. That led me into utilizing our radio retention tabs. Right, so a lot of you guys over the years have been utilizing uh, like shock cord and the little pull tabs, like the magazine pull tabs, right? So you've probably seen this, quite a lot of people, let's see if I can get you in there. Quite a lot of people have used these over the years. This is essentially just a chest rig with our Soilator radio retention tab inserted into the chest rig. Now, did that work? Did it retain the taser? Yes, right? So one check mark, it retained the taser. What it didn't do is it didn't protect the safeties at all. So anytime you'd sling your rifle or anytime a branch or anything would hit this, right? Or maybe you're moving or rolling around with someone on the ground, right? The chance of the safety getting swept off was high. And we all know, especially the Taser 10s, when that safety gets swept off, unless you're in silent mode, it makes all that noise, flashlight and laser get shined out on the bottom. So the bottom of your chest rig would be like a, a glow in the dark little lantern when you were working nights, all right? So that was, that was a negative check mark for what it did there. The other issue is now when I went to draw this, right? It was almost a two step uh, motion. I had to take my hand, pull the bungee up and to the side, like your mom, and draw the taser, all right? So obviously not ideal. Anytime you're doing any sort of draw, right, you want to be able to have it something smooth, something fast, right? And the more steps you incorporate in there, the slower it's going to be, all right? So that never sat well with me. I didn't like that. Uh, the original one I, I designed, one of my buddies in the department has and have actually been utilizing it for probably the last six years, all right? Uh, but it just didn't sit well with me. I knew there was something better. So now that I have the capabilities of having a laser cutter, right? We've got a laser cutter at the shop now. I was able to design the T10 insert. All right, so features of the T10 insert. Besides having a rigid construction being made out of laser cut six layer Tegris, right? It also is doubled up on the bottom. Now, why is that important? In the event that for some reason you went to reholster this taser with a safety off, which I do not recommend, all right? Huge disclaimer, it'll be printed right on the side of the thing. Do not reholster your taser with a taser on fire. Make sure your taser is on safe prior to reholstering it. Uh, there'll be a QR code when you get this that will show you how to set up your taser 10 insert. On that, we'll also reiterate that, all right? It's a huge safety thing, but stuff happens, right? I, I know I know it, I'm on the job, right? I get it, stuff happens. So in the event that the taser would go off inside your T10 insert, I wanted to make sure that it would stop the probes. So that's why we doubled up the bottom of it, right? With four grommets here holding it together, but six plus six, right? For you simple cop guys, I get it, is 12. So there's 12 layers of Tigris on the bottom here that stops these probes dead in their tracks. We shot two probes, into the bottom of one of these and just the very tip, just the very tip, right? <laughs> There's a mom joke in there somewhere. Just the very tip was poking out the bottom, all right? So it did not defeat the 12 layers of Tigris, which was important to me because I wanted to make sure that in the event that you have an ND inside of the holster, right, that it would stop them. And it did, all right? You also find that by, have, by utilizing this, if I was to put the light on, Right? Obviously, it's pretty bright in here. You have a little bit of light on the bottom of it, but if you really, if that was really an issue for you because you worked overnight or something like that, you could always take some gaffer's tape and just tape up those edges. All right, It's not a big deal for me because 
I want you guys to put the safety on prior to reholstering it. All right, so that's number one. Number two is the sides of this, if you can see, ride just up high enough to completely protect that safety. All right, so I'm not saying the safety's never gonna get swept off, right? But the chances of that safety getting swept off with just normal wear or slinging your rifle, right? Or getting out of the car and a seatbelt hitting it are very minimal, all right? The only times it may sweep the safety off is if you're in a role, you know, you're fighting with someone and your whole body gets mushed and pushed to the side, right? Obviously that's the least uh, your worries. Make sure you're sweeping the bad guy and uh, you know, taking the back, whatever. Uh, so it protects the safety, the ambidextrous safety on both sides, all right? Now let's insert this. So uh, scan the QR code once you purchase one on the side of it. It will give you directions on how to set this up, how to insert it into your chest rig. There is some pro tips on there to make it easy for you. Because anytime you're inserting something that has one type of Velcro into something that has another type, it can be difficult. So here I have a chest rig, all right? Uh, this one's set up for like SWAT stuff, right? So you'd have whatever stuff in the front. I've got two rifle mags on the side. And then I want to put the taser for less lethal onto the side here, all right? All you're simply going to do is once you have it set up, you take it, you can see here that because it's rigid, it has a rigid design there, it's easy to reholster into the into the uh, the T10 insert. You're just gonna insert it from the side, kind of rock it in there, and then one hand application, you can button it back up, right? And I mean I'm I'm really shaking it there. Right, like if, you, if you're wearing this thing, you'll notice like it is not gonna come out of there. It's solid on there. That button, that metal button snap works great. Now, if I wanna draw it, all I simply do with my right hand is defeat that, and pull it right out. Good to go, all right? So again, insert muzzle first, rock it in, one-handed application, puts it on there, and you're good to go. All right, now, which one do you need to purchase? Well, again, like I said, guys, this only fits the Taser 10, all right? For the guys rocking the Taser 7s, stay tuned. I will be coming out with a model for the, uh, the T7s that fits that as good as this one fits the T10. But give me a few weeks. I'm a full-time dad, full-time law enforcement guy, uh, very busy with the SWAT stuff. And then obviously I try to run this business for you. So give me some time. I'll get it out there for you. For the guys for the X26, uh, hit me up in the comments if you really want that. I want to see if there's actually an interest for that. I know some guys still rock those. So if you guys really want that, I'll see you down the line uh, if I can bring that offering to you. All right. So with this, it's not a matter of whether you have to strong side draw or cross side draw. When you're ordering your T10 insert, it's whatever hand you want to defeat it, defeat the metal snap, whatever hand you want to defeat the metal snap. So whether it's like strong side or, or um, cross draw, whatever hand I'm using to defeat it is the hand I want. So here I am going to defeat it with my right hand, which means I would order the T10 insert right hand. If for whatever reason, I am going to draw the taser with my left hand, I would order the T10 insert left. And essentially all that does is just change what side the snap is on to allow me now to defeat the snap because you always want to defeat the snap with your thumb. Now, could I defeat it with the other one? Yes, you could if you had to. But for, for speed and ease, if I'm going to draw it with my left hand, I want to be able to break the snap with my left hand, which means I order the left hand one. All right, these will be available on the website. I'm sorry, not the tasers. The T10 will be available on the website in both black and coyote. If you guys want gray, I can make them in gray. I have the Tigris. Uh, let me know in the comments if that's something you want. But I figured black for patrol and coyote for any sort of SWAT stuff uh, or any sort of, sort of subdued color. But if you guys are interested in the gray, let me know. Uh, make sure you comment You know anything that you want to see from us in the future but I really believe that this will be a good fix for something that uh, I know a lot of law enforcement guys, especially law enforcement SWAT guys have been struggling with over the years is finding a good way to hold it. I hope this is a, a good solution for you. All right, so until next time, stay safe, take care.